Atlanta News First is sitting down with your governor just hours after his third overseas trip in the last six months. Well, this time he was in France and the nation of Georgia, and he brought some business back with him. Political reporter Doug Reardon, he's live outside the Capitol for us today. And Doug, Governor Brian Kemp, he says these trips extremely important, but he has gotten some heat for traveling, hasn't he? Yes, he certainly has, but he says these trips, even though they do account uh, with taxpayer money, are worth every penny. He said the same about his recent trip to Switzerland and Israel in the last six months, and he said the same to me today about his trip to France. This time, it was about fostering relationships with Georgia's, one of Georgia's largest industries. I think this culturally it's important for us to be over there to let the world know that Georgia is open for business. Fresh off an economic development mission to France and the nation of Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp said aviation was the main focus. That's our largest export market in the state. We've got over 100 companies that are tied to the airspace industry. Georgia exports $9.2 billion worth of aerospace equipment every year, and the industry represents $58 billion in economic impact. One big deal secured in France, a $200 million investment from Columbus-based engine maker Pratt & Whitney, complete with 400 new jobs for Georgians. It's all about making sure that you know, Georgians of today that, you know, they have a good paying job, that their kids can have that, but also that their grandkids can have that. That's, that's what we want. After a two-year hiatus from traveling during COVID, Kem says he's making up for lost time. His trip to Israel, a huge trading partner with Georgia, yielded new deals with software firm JFrog and medical device maker Alpha Omega. Prior to his re-election, a trip to South Korea saw lucrative deals with Hyundai and Kia, and an earlier trip to Germany brought investments in electric vehicle production that had become a cornerstone of Kemp's second term. The taxpayer-funded trips, Kem says, drive Georgia business. I can assure you the taxpayer was getting their bang for the buck from the whole team. The trips could also serve to bolster Kent's foreign policy resume ahead of any future runs for higher office. And the governor's itinerary on this overseas trip also included some time with Georgia National Guard members stationed in the country of Georgia. It's an almost 30 year uh, military partnership that we've had with them and more important now than ever, says the governor, as Russia occupies about 25% of that nation. We're live outside the Capitol tonight. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.